Well, our Sunday always used to be the day when we'd head out for a quiet drive in the country, but now we're likely to find the peaceful calm of the rural south shattered by the roar of hundreds of motorbike engines. Police say parts of the region are becoming racetracks for bikes and drivers and pedestrians are at risk. Richard Jones investigates for tonight's Meridian Report. A32 between Wickham and Alton on any Sunday in the summer. It's busy, it's noisy. There are hundreds of motorbikes here and on roads throughout the Mian Valley. Bikers come from all over the south, from Surrey and from London, to challenge themselves and their machines. They are nice open roads. You can ride quickly but safely down them. Um, and it's, it's a Sunday out. A lot of people use their bikes purely for days out just for pleasure after like a stressful week at work. But local residents also trying to relax after a week at work say the noise of the bikes is ruining their weekends. On a Sunday from 10 in the morning right the way through the afternoon, particularly in the afternoon, it's one continuous buzz. A lot of the bikers who use the roads around here will admit that they don't always keep to the speed limits but they say they're in control and that they're safe. The experts, though, don't agree. Last year, four motorcyclists died in the Mian Valley. So far this year, two have lost their lives. The latest, a 36-year-old man who was part of a group of nine bikers travelling between Droxford and Hambledon when his machine left the road. The problem comes when people who have been in London and places like that where the maximum speed is 40, 45, come down and then they find that they're on a road doing 60. They come up to a bend or go to do an overtake without forward planning and then suddenly find themselves in a position which they can no longer control. They're saying two deaths is too, too many. Uh, for the amount of motorcycles around here, two isn't a great deal. You can come up here some days and the car park is full of the brim with bikes. Which two out of that isn't that bad, really. The police have responded to the growing death toll and to complaints from residents by mounting regular checks on bikes. We're trying to target those that don't want to look after themselves. And it is only a minority. There are a lot of people out here who really just want to go out and enjoy motorcycling because it is a very pleasurable pastime. There are those that want to spoil it for themselves and for others as well. Police patrols check on noisy exhausts, bike safety and speed. Their presence acts as a deterrent to those who are out to break the law. No one says it's a long-term solution, and no one claims it's only bikers who are irresponsible. In the few hours we spent with the police, the only people caught breaking the speed limit were car drivers. Richard Jones for Meridian tonight. Well, we'll take a short break, but coming.